was good EYTBC was good fight fans boxing heads around the world be marsh with another boxing video so big ups to the man you began Henny Martinez light flyweight man this guy just took a guy who I considered probably excuse me who I considered the favorite um, Johannes Argelagos this guy just gives him a thorough beating man you know what I'm saying this guy, Henny Martinez from Colombia, Yugeborn or Yubegon, excuse me if I'm messing his name up. Yubegon Martinez. This guy takes Argelagos to Cuban to school, man. He gives him all kind of punches, man. Uppercuts, hooks to the body. The guy, the Argelagos guy's a master boxer. He was showboating. He's a showman. He likes to please the crowd. This Colombian guy wasn't for that, man. He wasn't for all that, man. He came to fight. And this man fought like it was a street fight, you know what I'm saying? He was the come forward fighter all night, you know what I'm saying? Catching this man with all kind of punches, right hands, combinations, coming forward, cutting off the ring tremendously. Man, it was an impressive effort by the man uh, Martinez from Colombia, you know what I'm saying? I think this guy's favored to win the gold now, you know what I mean? He's going to fight, he's going to face, um, what's his name? Hassan Boy uh, Dusmitov in the next round, and that... And that particular fight, whoever wins that wins the gold medal. You know what I mean? And I favor this guy Martinez. You know what I'm saying? This guy Martinez was a come forward fighter. He wasn't for the boxing, man. He caught this man with some vicious uppercuts. You know what I mean? Some neck snapping uppercuts. And uh, Argelagos, man, he was showing off early. But in the last few rounds, he wasn't with the showing off, man, because he knew he was in trouble. So actually, the guy Argelagos, I'm sorry, the, um, Martinez wins this fight by a uh, split decision, but in my opinion, I had uh, the Martinez winning every single round, you know what I mean? I was impressed with the body work, you know, hitting with the shots under the ribs, you know what I mean? And he slowed the man uh, Argelagos down to the point where Argelagos was always, almost always had his back on the ropes, you know what I mean? That's the kind of pressure Martinez was putting on him. So big ups to the Colombian Martinez, man. He did a great job out there. He beat a Cuban master boxer by the name of Argelagos. Argelagos, of course, he just came off from beating the 35-year-old Kenyan cop, uh, Peter Warui, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, if I, I could only imagine if a guy like Peter Warui would have been in there with um, this Martinez guy, you know what I mean? Big up to Peter Warui, man, but, man, this guy Martinez right here, man, he looks like the truth at Light Flyway, you know what I mean? 170, 107 pounds. I think that's 49 kilograms, you know what I mean? The man put the pressure on Argelagos. He was hitting him, man. I, I like I like this kid right here, man. Argelagos, man, you know, Argelagos, to me, in my opinion, didn't win any round, and the right man definitely won the fight. So if you guys happen to see this fight, let me know. Boxing has and fight fans around the world. This is B-Marsh Boxing. If you like the content on this Rio Olympics um, uh, post-fights, let me know in the comments section. And let me know what you guys think uh, about uh, Martinez facing Hassan Boy Dusmitov in the gold medal round. I right, this is B-Marsh Boxing, and thanks again for listening. Peace.